Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to export in live tracks. So here's the scenario. You just got done with a rockin' show, and now you're back on your tour bus or hotel room, and you may want to export the stems of your live track session into another doll of your choice. So let's go ahead and see how to do that first. So notice on the timeline here, we have the start and end markers. You wanna adjust those so that way it determines the length of your exported files. And then go up to session, export, and stem export. And notice we have a keyboard shortcut for that, which is shift control E or shift alt E on a PC. Okay, we are now presented with a stem export window. And on the first tab, we can notice there's a format option and a location option. So for me personally, I'll have to keep it at the original bit rate and also the original sample rate. You can easily go in and edit these to be whatever you want. And you can also click on the drop down menu and choose any other file format that you need. So whether that's MP3 or a CD or FLAC. By default, the stems are going to be exported to the export folder in the session folder. But you can click on browse and change the location to anywhere else that you want, whether that's an external hard drive or a different folder on your internal hard drive. Okay, on the second tab, this is the time span, which is determining how long the files are gonna be. And this is set to the session, so it's going to start at the start marker and end at the end marker. In the channels tab, we can select all the channels in the session or to use the drop down menu to choose certain kinds. But primarily in live tracks, we're only dealing with audio tracks, so we can just select all audio tracks and not worry about the apply track bus processing because that's something that you can do in mix bus, but not in live tracks because we do not have a way to add plugins in the session. Okay, going back to file format, we can choose to analyze our exported audio. So if you wanna do that, you can check the box and now just click on export. Okay, and then when the exporting is done, we can click on each tab and see the file that has been generated, or we can click on open folder and we can retrieve all the files from there. Okay, but what about if you wanna export just a certain section of the performance? We can usually do that as well. So using the range tool, we can make a selection, or we can go over to the editor list and click on any of the pre-made arrangement markers that we might've made within the session. So scene four should be fine. And we can go back to session and export and quick audio export. And for exported range, we're using the time selection, which we've already made on the timeline. And it will open the folder where files are exported and we can choose our format to either FLAC, MP3 or WAVE at the session rate. Okay, and then just hit export. So this is a stereo mix of your performance just in that location. So be sure you adjust the faders and your panning before you do this export to make sure it sounds how you want. So if you have any questions about live tracks, please leave a comment down below or check out our website, harrisonaudio.com. And in the meantime, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio and I'll see you in the next video.